welcome to day 12 of our 12 days of Christmas in July at Polly's Paper Studio. This is a happy sad day for me because I am sad that this series is over, but I am very happy to share that we are having our first giveaway on our YouTube channel. So keep watching until the end of the video for all the details of how you can enter to win. This project is a shaker tag magnet and this is what we are giving away. So let's make this together. This is a tag from the Graphic 45 Staples and to prepare it, I've added a layer of magnet, which is the um, sheets that you can get from the hardware store and they're meant to cover uh, heat registers and it's very easy to cut and the sheets are quite large so you get a lot out of it and you can adhere it to the back of your tag. This is uh, 3D matte gel from Art Basics and I use the Art Basic silicone paint brush to just smooth it on and give it a nice even layer and then I set the bin of adhesives on top of it and let it set up because um, the instinct that people are born with to not poke things to see if they're wet. Yeah, I don't have that. So I have to prepare this and then walk away and distract myself with other things. So I know it's secure now. And that is a nice big magnetic surface to stick to the refrigerator or other metal surface. So to cut the top layers... I've got the die that coordinates with the tag, and I've cut out this shape, which is from Pebbles. It is super cute, and I'm using the back, too, as a coordinating pattern. Um, I cut that out, and then I used a square die to cut the center. This is from Spellbinders. And I chose one that would allow me to use a full strip of adhesive on the back without having to cut it. Um, and so basically what I want to do now is add the companion pattern, which is going to be um, also from Pebbles, that really cute candy cane stripe. I'm just going to add it with some double-sided adhesive. And while I am doing this, I want to thank my hubby, the tech guy, for um, working with me on the intro for our series for Christmas in July. He's an amazingly cooperative person, and I have said in the past, oh, I really like to have something that looks like a wand that sprinkles glitter and have fairy music in the background and he got that for me so that's my regular intro and then I said oh you know I would like to have this image that I've created but it would be nice if it had snow in the background and some music and I don't want it to be like too cutesy or too traditional or too uh, modern I just want some really nice snow music and he came up with that all for this intro and I am greatly appreciative of all the work that he does behind the scenes to keep Polly's going and also um, surprise I've got some ideas for Halloween um, hopefully he will be as cooperative as he seems to have been so far I'm just uh, going to add this now and sort of get it as even as possible. There's going to be a lot of florals, so if I don't get it exactly perfect, I think it will be okay. I'm going to clip this around, which is very nice to have rounded corners because then I can just get it super close, and this will be a really cute companion pattern to accent on this fridge magnet shaker tag. That is a mouthful. Um, I also want to cut out the center, and normally I would be like very cautious to be careful to get this in like the most perfect sort of way, but I'm going to cover that with the shaker top when I get to that point. So if I don't get it exactly, I am just fine with that. This is just my craft knife, and I am cutting it out. Now I can show you what I've done for the adhesive. This is that uh, 3M tape 
and I got this from Costco, or not Costco, Amazon. It was like a jimongous roll when I started. I want to add a double layer so there's room for the shakers to move. So what I just do is I pull off a generous length and then I double it onto itself like this. Then I can use these um, like Teflon scissors. They don't stick and clip it to the size that I need. And then I have the double thickness as one unit to put it on and I went ahead and added that you want to make sure that none of your shaker bits will come out so make sure those are good tight corners and then it does look nice too if you have one solid edge if you can just it's a nice finished look for that um, now I'm going to go back to the tag this is the alternate side of the paper and I did want to put some plaid in on my closing project for this series. And also I want to give a shout out to my girl Judy because she called me out on it on Facebook. She was the only one who noticed I didn't get some plaid worked in. So um, shout out to you girl for paying attention. And then that will be in closing this section so that I can add the sequins. So I've pulled the adhesive off now. Um, generally what you would want to do is lay your acrylic sheet in between the paper and your dimensional pieces but because I'm adding the top as a sort of frame that I cut with the Spellbinder square dies I'm just going to add this and that will help me to position this without worrying about the shakers falling out because I do tend to struggle with little bits coming out when I'm trying to get things even. So this is the back now and the focal image is this sweet little thing. So I'm just going to add that right to the center. and put my shakers parts in. Now, I'm just using some pretty pink posh sequins, and this is the Sparkling Clear Mix and Mossy Green. Uh, I also want to point out not to overfill this because they do get jammed up if you have too much. This is a nice selection because it has um, different sizes, so that gives it a little more interest. And this is a uh, mossy green really matches that collection very well. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shake to see how that's going. Uh, I might even add a little bit more clear. Nope, don't do it. Walk away, Jenny. You know better. So for the acrylic part, I mentioned earlier that I've cut the frame using the Nestability square dies and I've added the acrylic to the back of it and I'm just going to add that to the top. So what I'm going to do is add this uh, Tombow Mono Multi which I use for a lot of things like chipboard and embellishments um, and I'm going to be careful to not splodge a lot of it on so that it would come out the sides. And this will hold that acrylic down very well. Make sure you're not leaving any gaps for the sequins to come out. And that will enclose all of those shaker bits. I think it will be okay to work on the florals while that's setting up just a bit. Uh, I got these prepared as I do with die cuts. These are all handmade flowers and then I put some little loopy bows of twine. This is Baker's Twine from Really Reasonable Ribbon and the dies I'm using for these flowers come from Cherryland Design and I'm just going to add them with that hot glue. I've got an arrangement for the top and the bottom. 
want to see behind the scenes here at Polly's Paper Studio. This is the bin that I keep my glue gun in. Isn't that awful? I'm just afraid I'll leave it plugged in and I don't want to cause any fire hazard, so I just put it in that little cake pan. Since I don't make little cakes, I guess that's okay. Um, one more flower arrangement for the bottom. I think this would be a really cute gift, especially for teachers or um, someone that you know would appreciate a handmade item. This is really going to dress up your magnet game. We have <laughs> we have magnets on our fridge from the propane company and also the people that sold us our property 15 years ago, and they're just they're just not nice looking and even when we put stuff up there it drives my hubby crazy and he just wants to take them down <laughs> so I don't know maybe he'll be more tolerant of this one so here's twine and I'm just going to add it to the top very carefully because remember we want this to be flat on the back because it's going to stick to the fridge so you don't want any lumpy bits showing and well, maybe what I want to do is loop it through yeah let's do that and that way I can just pull the tails out and it will be There, I like that. And last but not least, I have a cute little gingham bow. More plaid for you, Judy. Got your plaid covered. Oh, I didn't think that through. That hurts. I'm just going to stick that right on the top. There. To enter for your chance to win this shaker tag magnet, leave me a comment on this video and share with me what your top three favorite projects from this series were. Make sure you comment on all your favorites. You must be a subscriber to the blog and our YouTube channel. You have until Saturday the 21st of July at midnight to enter and we will announce the winner chosen from random on Sunday the 22nd. Wishing good luck to all those who enter. That completes our shaker tag magnet for the 12th day of our 12 days of Christmas in July. If you enjoyed this project, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe. Links to our social media sites can be found in the description below. We're on Facebook and Instagram and our blog and our Etsy shop. And we also have some great Pinterest boards if you want to check us out there. As always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye.